Hey guys, it's Jalise and welcome back to Confessions of a Concert Goer, the place where we talk all things live music and concerts. And you've seen it the last time you were at a show, the big window out front with the carved out hole in the cashier sitting behind the glass at a desk. I'm talking about the box office, of course. But did you know that in the age of sky high ticket master induced service fees, buying tickets at the box office is one of the only remaining ways to avoid paying those? So what killed the box office to begin with, meaning why do so few people buy tickets there today? And does the recent outcry against Ticketmaster's exorbitant fees mean a potential rebirth for the box office? In this video, I want to answer those questions and a little bit more. Now, I'll admit that it's a little bit tricky to find stats on the exact amount of tickets purchased at a venue versus online, but let's assume that the majority of tickets are purchased online for concerts today. And Aren't we glad that we no longer need to rely on buying tickets by candlelight at a box office? If there was a power outage, true story, look it up. But to answer the question, what killed the box office? The answer is very simple, the internet. In 1996, Ticketmaster went pop public and launched its online venture. Now, of course, in the 90s, standing outside and long lines for tickets were still pretty common at a venue, or even buying tickets at record stores were pretty common practice back then. But in just a short time, the industry would never be the same again, and online sales would soon eclipse all other methods of buying tickets. And by the late 90s and early 2000s, some 40% of some event seats were selling over the internet. So as a result, Ticketmaster started to shut down some of its phone operations at that time. It was a no-brainer. I mean, nobody could really compete with the convenience of buying tickets at home and being able to select the seats that you wanted to. Now today, most of who are watching most of you who are watching this video are aware of the recent fiasco with Live Nation and the ticket sale profit process for the Taylor Swift Eras tour. And it's really nothing new to complain about service charges and the long waits during ticket pre-sales on, on in online queues. But that leads me to my second question. What does this mean for the box office today? Well, for perspective, I'd like to share one of my stories. In 2019, I found out one of my favorite bands, St. Lucia, was playing a show at the Foundry in Philly, not far from where I live. So one day, about a week before the show, I took a drive on my lunch break to the venue during box office hours, and I purchased my tickets right there with no service fees. I mean, I had this really strong sense of victory walking out, although, although the cost that I saved on the service fees probably equaled the amount of gas that I used to get there that day. I guess I broke even that day, but it still felt good. My lesson is, if we don't like ticket service fees, why don't we put forth more effort to buy tickets at the box office? Now, I will own up to the fact that I don't always take advantage of the box office. In fact, I rarely do. But that was part of my reason for making this video and the calls to action. While it may have looked like the box office was dead, it may not be. So next time you wanna go to a show, plan ahead. Take the trip and buy your tickets in person, if you can. Although some box office have box offices have had to cut their hours recently most are open at least a couple of hours before a show on a given day and some of the larger box office venues are even open five days a week afternoons and evenings smaller indie venues are doing things like partnering with local bookstores and record stores also to sell some of their tickets there without fees now i know some of you are already doing this but let's keep it going Let's avoid service fees by purchasing tickets in person whenever possible. After all, it would be a huge loss if the box office died for good. All right, so tell me what you think, guys. Are you already buying tickets in person? Leave a comment below and let me know, and I'll catch you in the next video.